Welcome back. It's 530. You know it's a bad day when your car is stolen, and it doesn't get that much better if they find it. Then you've got to pay for the towing and the impound fees just to get your car back. That doesn't seem fair, no, does it? No, it doesn't. No, and one city councilor says, you know, he's going to do something about it. So Mary Mills joins us live with his proposal to change that process and some of the reaction that he's getting tonight for his plan. Mary? That's right, Ann. Democratic Councilor Joe Simpson says if someone steals your car, you shouldn't have to pay it back. He says not only is that double jeopardy, but it can be a hardship with fees averaging 350 bucks. According to the city, roughly 2,400 stolen vehicles wind up at this impound lot each year. Jean-Marc Houssou came to pick up his Tuesday morning. I'm here to get my car back because uh, my car was stolen by, by armed robber people. Jean-Marc's car was stolen Friday night after he was jumped and held at knife point while delivering pizza at this north side apartment complex. They take everything. Um, my key, my car key, everything, my, my wallet, they stole a lot of money from me. Nearly as much as the 260 bucks he would have to pay to get the car back. And since the thieves stole the car keys, he had to pay $70 to have the car towed back to his home. That's low. It's not easy for me. It's not easy at all for me. Councillor Simpson's proposal would waive the towing and storage fees if the owner reclaims the vehicle within seven days of being notified by police. After seven days, the owner would have to foot the bill. It's a change Jean-Marc and Lisa Hale wholeheartedly support. Anytime that you suffer something like that, whether it's you know a stolen vehicle or something, you're victimized right then and there. A year and a half ago, someone stole her son's motorcycle from the back of her house. Cody is a Marine stationed in California. Once his bike was found, Hale had to get the power of attorney and pay $270 to get it back. And to re-victimize the victim by having them go through this process to where I ended up having to pay out fines where it was nothing at the fault of ours, um, I feel is unjust. And those fees do generate about a million dollars a year. And if they're waived, that money has to come from somewhere. And I'm told most likely it would be IMPD. Now, Simpson said he's not worried about that. He said the fees never should have been there in the first place, that many other cities have a seven-day grace period, Scott. Mary, the council still needs to vote on this. Do you know how the mayor or anybody else feels about this issue? Yeah, I basically got a statement from the mayor's office saying right now they're just looking to analyze the numbers and see what the impact could be on IMPD. Uh, I think we'll get a better idea of what counselors are thinking about this when it goes to committee in the next week or so. All right, we know you'll be following it. Mary Mills reporting live downtown. Thanks.